question number one says it's a typical question you will find uh, IMCI guidelines pneumonia diagnosis hai ya nahi, and what is the treatment these kind of questions are very frequently asked knowing that a question like this is going to be asked and still getting it wrong is something which is unpardonable Question number one says, it's a typical question you will find, uh, IMCI guidelines, pneumonia, diagnosis hai ya nahi, and what is the treatment? These kind of questions are very frequently asked. Knowing that a question like this is going to be asked and still getting it wrong is something which is unpardonable. So let us have a look at the question. 10 month old child weighing 5 kg and with 65 centimeter length. So it should be clear in your mind that there is no malnutrition in the child. Presents with a cough and cold, so there are respiratory symptoms. He was observed to have a respiratory rate of 48 per minute with no chest retraction, no cyanosis, no grunting, no history of convulsions. Which of the following statement is true according to IMCI guidelines? So we have four options, no pneumonia, pneumonia, severe pneumonia and very severe disease. Now we know it that there is no malnutrition, no danger signs in this child and there are no chest uh, in drawing features as well. So the diagnosis of pneumonia will rest upon whether there is age appropriate tachypnea or not. Now we know that less than 2 month child, if the respiratory rate is equal to or more than 60 per minute, we say the child is having tachypnea. If 2 to 12 month child, the respiratory rate is equal to or more than 50 per minute, then there is tachypnea and above 12 month till 5 years of age, if the respiratory rate is equal to or more than 40 per minute, then the child is having tachypnea. Since in this child, there is no tachypnea and there is no chest in drawing that is no retractions so there is no pneumonia only cough and cold in this child right in case remember whenever the child is having either tachypnea or chest in drawing the child will be labeled as compatible with pneumonia it is also if the chest in drawing is present and or the word here is and or in case the chest in drawing alone is present we say a chest in drawing pneumonia these are the children who will require oral antibiotics like oral amoxicillin and in case the child is having any respiratory feature along with danger sign so any danger signs are present then the child will be labeled as severe pneumonia severe pneumonia is also called as very severe disease there is no such entity as very severe pneumonia and these are the children who will require parenteral antibiotics so in this child because there is no tachypnea and there is no chest in drawing no danger sign the diagnosis is very clear no pneumonia only cough and cold question number two look at this uh, chest x-ray they are saying a child with pneumonia shows this following x-ray what could be the underlying organism there is no effusion, but this child with x-ray is having con the typical appearance of a pneumatocele. Pneumatocele is an air-filled cystic cavity typically associated with staph pneumonia, although Klebsiella has also been implicated. So the answer to this, the likely diagnosis in this question is pneumatocele. And the pathogen which is most frequently associated with this is staph aureus. Moving further, question number three. A four-year-old child developed sudden bouts of cough and respiratory distress after eating peanuts. His chest x-ray shows the following. What is the likely diagnosis? Can you see that there are asymmetrical findings in this chest x-ray? You can see that there is air trapping happening on the left side and there is also hyperinflation present on the left side. So this is a child where there is obstructive emphysema developing on the left side. This happens because of ball valve mechanism the peanut normally it has a tendency to go on the right side of the bronchus because it is shorter wider and more in line with the mean bronchus but many times it can go on the left side as well and whatever side it is going it can produce multiple complications it can be asymptomatic it can cause uh, partial collapse it can act as a ball valve mechanism allowing air to move inside but trapping air during expiration with each progressive breath hyperinflation happens. The hyperinflation, collapse consolidation, all these findings are typically asymmetrical in nature. History of acute onset of symptoms, 
history of peanut consumption or parents noticing child ingesting something along with these kind of findings think of foreign body aspiration as the likely answer and here the x-ray is very clearly showing obstructive emphysema on this side that is obstructive emphysema on the left side.